All right, check this out. Y'all want to hear a story? Once again, just met up with my cardiologist and crushed it, crushed it, crushed it. We're working on it. We're making sure things are going well. Let me tell you what I did, though. Let me tell what's going on with my hair. I don't know. Okay, we can live with it. Let me tell you what happened. I'm excited. Once again, I take a drug called uh, diltiazem. Diltiazem is meant to slow my heart down. Historically, I have needed about 150 milligrams. When you have a growth in your heart the way that I do, they want to slow your heart down so it beats less. I got a 40% block in my left ventricle. Nothing can be done about it. And so we have to deal with it. It doesn't send out all of the blood the way that it should, so it's overworked. So instead of the heart overworking, we slow the heart down a little bit, give it a chance to maybe not have to pound so much. When we did that and we put me on this med, it was about 150, 175 milligrams a day. We lowered it, or, or, and that lowered my heart rate down from about 72, 73 as a resting heart rate down to about 62, 63, so really good. And it worked, and it did a lot to slow my heart down, I can tell you. This is the, these are the drugs that you'll hear people with my kind of conditions complain about it, slowing their metabolism down, because it, it, it definitely does. It slows your heart down for, for sure, and I use that excuse uh, all of the time myself. Turned out to not be a good excuse, but nonetheless, one I used. Now, uh, yesterday I go in and see him and my heart rate is 48 beats a minute. That's good, 48 beats a minute. That's way too low, but Jerry, wait, 48 beats a minute is no good. That's right, I'm getting in too good a shape. Too good a shape. So what do we do? We went from 175, which is where I was last year, and I was down to 75 uh, yesterday. So I had cut that down as I've talked about many times, multiple times over the last 18 months. And yesterday, now I'm only on two 25 milligram pills a day. We'll see if that doesn't bring the heart back up to, oh, again, 60, 62 beats a minute because it's just not beating enough. And we'll see what happens after that. But I'm, as I'm healing, I got these issues. The issue's not going away in my heart. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do about that. At some point, it's going to have to be dealt with. It could be pacemakers in the future. Uh, the, the, the AFib could get out of control. I could have surgery to go in and cut out the, the blockage that is an overgrown muscle. But until then, I'm managing it, and I'm thriving while I manage it. I cut my med in half yet again. That's amazing. And again, the docs have no idea what to do because they never seen anybody do it uh, to the extent that I have and with the ferocity and the discipline that I have brought to it. So you can heal yourself. Meat heals. Food heals. You got to want it. You got to go get it. Opportunities are everywhere. You got to go get them. Let's cut some meds in half or more. Let's cut them in half again, two, three times. That's what I did. Go for a walk. Did I say that?